Theo van Zander. I've been, and normally I work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands and become involved, became involved in Ayachi, I think uh, some 10 years ago by now. And because I was committed and, and very much persuaded by the, the mission of Ayati, I, I thought it would be a good idea to be stand to be stand as a candidate for a, a board member for Ayati. So this I've been doing for the last four years, uh, and, and then of course, luckily, my board fellow board members uh, elected me as uh, chair of the uh, of the governing board of Ayati. So this is what I'm be, I've been doing now for the last four years. I think there are many benefits of becoming a member or becoming involved in IRT. I think uh, being a member uh, gives some additional value, but really gives some additional advantages. But being engaged in IRT predominantly, this is where I think it starts as, as a publisher, as a committed to transparency, as, a, as somebody interested in, in providing for the kind of information uh, developing countries, participants or stakeholders want. I think this is this is all what is the big virtue and the big value of joining uh, IRT as a publisher, as a data user, and above all also as an IRT member, because that gives you an additional opportunity also to steer and give guidance to the, uh, the to the initiative as at large. So it gives you an extra benefit. And so far. I'm happy to be a committed member of IATI community as well as a member of IATI itself. I think what, what we above all have done is to try to provide a very thorough base for IATI to move forward, both in terms of policy, the strategic plan, as well as in investments in, in our technical core, in the basis. So providing the, the, the proper foundation uh, which I hope that then will be brought forward with very much enthusiasm and very much spirit in, in the remaining period of the, uh, of the strategic plan, which is up to 2025. And I think, I mean, we need some, some very committed people with enthusiasm and creativity in, in how to, to make that next step and to really start using uh, the basis that we have to make a difference in, on, on, on many agendas in, in terms of climate, in terms of leaving no one behind and, and really try actively to make a difference uh, by using IRT data, by encouraging better quality of uh, IRT data so that the usefulness is, 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 is improved. And, and I think this is, this is what, where it needs uh, maybe younger people, maybe other people, I don't know. And uh, to me, that would be an appeal uh, to, uh, to really all those committed people that to, to stand up and be elected and then function as a board member for the coming period. Here I think there are a, a number of top priorities, but one, one would be to really start up having physical engagements again with, with IRT community or IRT communities. Uh, I think we've been Although we, we've, we've done great things in, in improvising and in changing the way in which we work, and undoubtedly something will remain, but nothing can beat having physical interaction, seeing people, meeting people physically. And I truly hope that we can forge, maybe not in, in let's say, global meetings, but then at re re regional meetings or national meetings to seize opportunities and to get out of, uh, get out of our offices and get away from our 2D into the 3D world and have real life interaction. So that's, that I think is one of the major things I would like to see happening in 2022, so that IATI even becomes more vibrant, more lively, and, 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 and also in, in the view of people that maybe have forgotten about IATI or have never thought of IATI. So I think that's the, the major challenge for 2022.